Hi guys, welcome to today's makeup tutorial featuring this glossy classic red lip look. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and thank you for watching. So I've just applied my Nivea Q10 anti-aging cream. And then I'm going to go in with the Bondi Sands Gloss and just apply this to my face. And this is just going to provide a really nice base for the foundation. And it is quite a thick texture. So a little bit blends quite well all over the face. I'm just going to take my hands and we'll blend. And then going in with my Maybelline Matte and Poreless. I'm only really using a little bit of foundation and just spreading it really well into my skin. Because a little bit goes a long way, especially when you want a natural glowy look. You don't want a heavy coverage foundation. Then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is just a really pink thin concealer. I do like to use this to contour my nose as well, which is why I've done it so high up my nose. And then I'm just gonna use it again to contour my jawline. Then I'm just taking my e.l.f. HD powder. <clears throat> Still waiting for my Laura Mercier one to arrive so in the meantime, I'm just using this one, but I do prefer the Laura Mercier one. I'm just using this just to set my T-zone because I will be sweaty in like five minutes. So. I'm then going in with my Primark False Lash Queen Mascara. Pulling that to my lashes my non-existent lashes you should say and then just going to take the Primark 3-in-1 brow precision pencil and powder and just quickly do my brows I love this product because it's just so easy just to quickly do them Fill them in and then pop your own comb. Just going to take my MAC Dark Deepest Bronzer and apply this onto my cheekbones. So I've just applied that to my cheekbones and then I'm just going to contour my nose. Just with the same bronzing brush. I feel like this gives me more of a long lasting glowy look rather than just using cream products. They will tend to kind of sweat off and melt away. If you do use powder to set them in and then add just layering the products, it tends to last a lot longer. And then going in with my favorite Kiko Smart blush. I'm just applying a little bit of this to my brush and mixing it again with my NARS Orgasm blusher. Just applying a small amount to my cheeks. And my nose and my chin. Taking a fluffy brush and I'm going in with the Rose Quartz palette from Primark and I'm just taking the shade Flamingo with Rosewood. So that's Flamingo and then Rosewood and I'm just mixing those two shades together just to give me a soft peachy brown colour. I 
because I don't want to do anything too heavy on my eyelids. I just want it to be a subtle glow. And then I'm just taking the lighter colour, which is a peach. But it is quite light and I'm just popping that on the lower part of my lid. then taking my finger and I'm just using that peachy shade and it is quite pigmented so I'm just going to pop that on the little part of my eye. Just like so. I'm just going to go back in with that brown shade and just deepen the crease a little bit. It's not a dark brown anyway because it's not overly pigmented. So it still looks quite nice. And then I'm going to go in with a smaller brush and I'm just going to pick up some of that product and then put it underneath my eyes. Then that's the eyes done, so I'm going to go in with, my, I'm just using my usual Maybelline Lasting Drama Liquid Ink Liner. Apply a bit more of the Lash Queen, Fast Lash Queen mascara. I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty highlighter, and I like to use my hand with it, so I'm just going to apply it on top of that with my hand. I'm just applying some of the product, and then buff buffing it in. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. And then you can also go back in with a brush if you want to. And just go over that. I'm just blending it in. And then I just like to pop this on the high points on my face on my nose and on my upper lip like that. I'm just going to take some of my glow glass and I'm just going to show you what it looks like on your body as well because it's amazing. I do already have some on from earlier but I'll pop a little bit more on just so you can see how nice it is. And it's really really moisturising as well, like it feels more like an oil. The only thing is it does transfer a little bit because I've already got some of my jumper. And then what you can do if you want more of a sheen, you can just take the highlighter again and pop this onto the high points that you want to shine. And it'll stick to them like glue. I'm using the MUA Intense Colour Lip Liner in Red Drama. And then I'm going to pop on my lashes before they dry completely. And then as they dry, I'm just going to take my Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in Red Rum. I'm 
I'm then going to go back with my dark deepest bronzer and I'm just going to apply a little bit of this to my eyelids and just down the sides of my nose just like that uh, you could just use this as an eyeshadow in itself because it is such a pigmented colour depending on your skin tone obviously but my, I know my sister uses it here and I'm always like oh what's on your eyelids and it's usually my dark deepest so she is quite pale though but it looks really really nice just on its own so if you don't have certain products I think just work with what you got like I do that myself if you don't have certain palettes or anything just use the closest colour to it you don't necessarily need to go out and buy new things every time although if you're going to buy anything from this video I would buy the Fenty Beauty highlighter and I would buy the Glow um, Bondi Sands because it's amazing and it's just it's one of those products like especially for a night out or for an occasion it gives you that natural glow and there's so many products out there that claim to give you like a nice shimmery glow and it's just not it's not the same whereas this gives you like a hydrated glow from within look and it's not necessarily cool tone you could use the dull beauty highlighter over it and it would give you a really warm tone i'm going to go in with my brown eyeliner i know it's tiny i need to get a new one but i'm just gonna pop this on my outer corner of my lashes Applying that to the outer corners of my eye and then I'm going to go in with my Revolution Glow Fix setting spray and just apply this all over my face and just let that all sink in Another thing as well you might want to do with your Fenty Beauty highlighter is just take a small fluffy brush, take a little bit of the product and just pop it on the inner corners of your eyes and it adds a really nice glow. Just give me a bit. So just take a little bit of it and just Pop it on the inner corners. I can't believe how long I went without this highlighter. Like it looks so nice. I'm literally in love. And then this is the finished look. You can go in and deepen the eyes if you want to, but I quite like it. Like this, and this was the eye makeup I was just using the Primark um, Rose Quartz palette. Hi guys, and this is the finished look for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like and please subscribe. And yeah, if you have any other products that give you a really glossy and glowy look, then please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know what they are. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Ciao.